Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another video. My name is Jim Pastramatis and today we'll be talking about the new bank tariffs, the new bank fees that are rolling out here in the Bulgarian banks that basically nobody knows about. The banks are not calling or notifying people, letting them know about, about it. Most customers are just finding out in hindsight. So this hasn't hit most people, but uh, making this video to basically warn you in advance. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well. The support means a lot to me. Our goal is to get to 1000 subscribers. We are at 680 subscribers right now. So your support would be very much appreciated. So without uh, further ado, let's let's dive in. Basically, the way that I found out about this was last year, Raiffeisen started this before anybody, as far as I know anyways. So they started charging both monthly fees and an annual fee based on percentage above uh, a certain amount of money, right? The monthly fees, I couldn't make any sense of. I have so many transactions going through Raiffeisen that I wasn't really aware, like they were flying under the radar. And these are not the typical 10 to 20 levs or three levs of account fees or anything like that. At least for me, were hundreds of levs that they were charging every single month, which was like, you know, quite insane. I definitely didn't expect that. Anyway, but they were still flying under the radar. So I did not notice them until it was too late. And when I did notice was when the end of the year came and they charged me this, you know, pretty hefty annual fee. And so that's something I did notice. And I was like, whoa, what's going on? I called my accounting firm. I asked them like, you know, what is this? Is it some sort of fraud? They said, no, this is like normal. Like uh, the Raiffeisen bank is basically charging uh, that type of fee. So that didn't make any sense to me, right? Like I've been a customer for many years. So, so like, what is this fee? I had no idea. So to me, the way that I look at it is like a wealth tax, right? So basically if you have a certain amount of money, anything above it gets taxed. Uh, there is a fee after uh, basically uh, at the end of the year. So I started looking into this more and more. I called my banker, like the answers I was getting were quite unclear about how this works. Most of the people that worked at the banks were also unclear what the percentages would be. They, they would fluctuate all the time. So the percentages I'm going to tell you today and the amounts, the limits, everything may have changed and maybe higher or maybe lower. So my advice is if you have more than 200,000 lives in your bank account, I would give a call to your bank or your banker and I would find out basically what's going on, right? Like what are the fees? What are the terms? All those things. When this happened, I called the bank and I asked them like, Hey, look, I haven't received any texts. I haven't received any emails. Like how can you guys just charge me money like this, you know, for basically just having money. And what they told me was, Hey, look, you know, we updated our tariffs page, our tariffs page. And you know, you have, you know, a responsibility to check that every now and then I wasn't aware of that. Like, you know, so I asked the, the lady that I was speaking to on the phone, like, Hey, look, can you guys start, start charging me $10,000 a month and not notify me? And basically I, I just have to independently check your fees page. And if the fees page says it great, and basically uh, I'm just supposed to find out independently, you guys are not going to text me, notify me about it. She said, yeah, that's how it works. So I find that to be quite insane on the bank's side. So in any other bank so far that is rolling this out, and again, to the best of my knowledge, every single Bulgarian bank is rolling this out. Nobody has sent me any notification to let me know that, hey, look, we're going to be charging X, Y, or Z. I had to go individually to each bank and ask them what the percentages are. And again, the answers were unclear. Hey, look, you know, it was this last week, but then we're, you know, we changed it to this, you know, this week. And then, hey, you know, have we changed it again? Like asking some other rep, like, hey, look, what, what's going on here? Like, you know, you guys have a bunch of my money and you don't even know how these terms work. Like this, this is not good. So the latest figures I got were the following. Once again, make sure to check with the bank. Don't just take the numbers of this video as the ones that are live. They're, they're not. Okay. So check with the bank. UBB would charge 0.8% for anything above a half a million lives at the end of the year. The 0.8% is for the business accounts, right? So the business accounts only. They would also charge 0.7% for anything above 1 million lives on your personal accounts. And these are the highest limits that I have heard of so far. Postbank would charge 0.9% for anything above a half a million lives in the business accounts and 0.7% for anything above 200,000 lives on the personal accounts. Raiffeisen was 0.7% above anything 200,000 lives on both personal and business, but limits can be played with. If you have a banker, you can like give them a call and see if they can raise it for you. So definitely make sure to like, you know, call them if, uh, you know, if you have more money than this, so they can raise the limit. I still don't have a very clear understanding on what basis they're charging the monthly fees. The monthly fees are something that Raiffeisen does exclusively and they were just acquired by another bank. So the rules may change once again. 
again. So it's quite a mess the last year. The other banks are not charging these types of monthly fees that Raiffeisen is. So at the end of the day, I think that you should do some independent research on this because at, uh, you know, at the end of the year, a lot of people who don't know about this will get charged thousands and thousands and thousands of lives for simply having money in the bank. And again, this is like some people I know will come and say, hey, look, you're in Bulgaria. And you know, just because you're in Bulgaria and you have like this low, uh, low tax, you know, you shouldn't complain about this. No, like, first of all, this isn't tax, right? This isn't a tax that the government takes, right? It's a fee that the banks are charging. Despite that, I think that's irrelevant, right? Like, so I think that the banks should be notifying the customers that there is like a fee like that coming up. And I find it to be quite asinine and irresponsible on their part to simply just charge customers and expect them to check their fees pages independently. Like, who does that? Anyways, I'm making this video once again so I can notify you. Make sure to call your bank, ask them what are their fees based on what amounts, whether the limits can change and so on and so on, and start making your strategy around where your money should be. I know, I believe this was with PostBank and I'm pretty sure it applies across the board, that you can still make a deposit and you know lock your money up and whatever. So you know they can pay you a 0 0.000001 interest or whatever, like you know, super low interest. And if the money is locked, then they don't charge you the fee. But then again, once you unlock the money, they will charge you the fee. So it doesn't matter, like if you're trying to just defer it. But when I say defer, it's not like you have access to the money. The money is locked. So if you're just trying to like, you know, avoid that for a year or whatever and just lock it, you can. Like that's as far as I know, you can do it. Again, call the bank and ask them. But this is what I know throughout my conversations over the last you know, few months. So like you can do that. But when you unlock the money, then they will charge you. So there's like no, no real way to fully avoid that to the best of my knowledge. Like unless like you spread your money around, like you avoid hitting the limit. That's it. Uh, that's the video. I hope you find some value in it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know if you know of any bank in Bulgaria that isn't doing this. I would love to know. I'm definitely very interested. I do respond to every single comment that I get. So as long as you, of course, keep it respectful. Uh, if you have any feedback on the video, of course, uh, let me know down below. Our sub goal right now is to get to 1000 subscribers. So if you enjoy the content, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well for me. And of course the notification bell, it would give me lots of motivation to keep going. We have 680 subscribers right now. So getting to a thousand is the new goal. Hit the subscribe button and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya.